hey my people welcome again to my channel i'll be showing you how to make this cookies recipe so all of the ingredients will be listed in the description box as you can see i'm creaming my margarine and my sugar i'm going to cream this on a medium high speed until it is nice and fluffy as seen so in between i'll be scraping the sides to be sure that everything is properly creamed you know like really really creamed so on to the next i'm going to put on my mixer and mix this i'm going to continue creaming until it is really really fluffy as seen in the video and then i'm going to add in my egg so for this recipe i'll be using just one egg so make sure your egg is as fresh as seen in the video so after this, I'm going to be putting in my flavor. So I use the combination of buttermilk flavor and a natural milk flavor for this. So um, you can feel free to use any flavor of your choice. As you can also see, I'm scraping the sides of the bowl so that everything is well combined as seen in the video. So guys, make sure if you're using a hand mixer with a bowl, it's pretty easy. So after everything, I'm going to be adding in, lastly, my all-purpose flour. So for this recipe, I'll be using three cups of all-purpose flour. As I said earlier, everything will be in the description box right below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button as you enjoy this video for more exciting videos and also to be notified when I have new videos. So guys, after doing this, I'm going to also... Um, mix on the medium high speed and then i'll stop my mixer and then pull out my bowl and ready to pipe so to pipe this rosette you need a clean cup to the um nozzle rosette nozzle and then the piping bag so i got mine from wilton so you can get any of the piping bag um in the shops and i also have my prepared um, baking tray so I'm going to insert my nozzle right into my piping bag and I'm going to put the mark to be sure where I'm, I'll be cutting this so just watch um, you have to watch carefully yes as you can see yes so this is where I'll be cutting um, my piping bag to allow space for the nozzle to pipe freely so I'm going to cut this push down the nozzle yeah I put the mark push the nozzle down and then I'm going to cut and then press my nozzle forward until it is entirely free as you can see the piping bag is not is not um, you know blocking the space so I'm going to insert this now into my cup so that I'll be able to um, pipe I'll be able to pipe I mean fill this in properly and then I'll be able to pipe um, my my butter without um, lumps or without spaces so I'll be scooping this into the piping bag it's really really easy to get it in this way so I'll be scooping this into the piping bag and then um, yeah as you can see don't overfill it i'm not going to overfill my piping bag so i can pipe easily especially for beginners so you don't need to overfill this so it'll be really really easy for you to pipe so i'm going to pull this out of the cup it's really easy and neat for you like especially if you're a beginner so i'm going to pull this out of the cup and then press my butter down all the way down to the nozzle so that i I mean just to eliminate any air any form of air you know that can hinder you from piping freely or expressly so the next thing I'm going to be showing you how I piped is just moving your wrist in a circular motion just direct your nozzle as you can see I'm going to do this about two or three times so that you can see it's really easy apply pressure to the piping bag just apply pressure as you can see my hand is applying pressure then move your wrist and your hand towards a circular motion and that is it 
so i'm going to do this until i'm exhausted like until my butter is exhausted and i'm also going to be baking in a preheated oven for 30 minutes so make sure your oven is not so hot i can't really tell you the temperature of the oven but anything around the 180 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes is fantastic so guys i want you guys to give this a try i love you Mwah.